Welcome to Hi friends, today I'm going to draw Spider-Man. Uh, I'm going to draw it slightly to a side angle with his hands stretched uh, out. Uh, so let's get started. I'll make the point for the head like I always do. And also because it's on the side angling on this side so I'll make another point over there start joining them I'm going to give a little bend over here, slight depression, and then a curve outward. I'll make the pointers for the eyes. Two eyes, because he's turned on this side, they're closer to this side of the face. And then they are very big, so I'm going to put the end over here and the other eye proportionately over here the smaller one so this side of the line would be a little big because it's turned this way and then a curve downwards I'm going to draw this after I draw this eye as well curve it like that so it's looking towards the angle the center point being over here and then we'll draw the curve, the eye, the bottom curve. And you just give the feel of the eye looking downwards. If you're drawing it with a sharpie, make the corrections and uh, by drawing like thicker lines or adjusting your lines. Drawing it like this gives a sense of depth. So okay. Now because th this here would be the center point, start drawing lines like a web. So the lines have to contour That's the shoulder right there as usual, the body size I, I draw it a little smaller to make it look cart cartoony. So, hand over here and a hand over there. So, this hand is uh, stretched like this to open up. So, I'm making a shape of a hand. And then, this is in the backward. That's the body. Then we'll get this hand uh, over here. Let's start with the curve, that big, and then the thumb, that big, and this would be the little finger over here. 
I'll start a thumb and then thumb is closing to the other two fingers over here one then two and then this is the little finger this will be the index finger over here and this hand is in the backwards so I'm going to draw it a little smaller than this hand So this finger is in the forward, so draw that first. Just give a shape to the other finger. And then also draw a little finger that's showing up from the back. Okay, now we'll draw the legs. And if you're sitting, I'll make a point over here. And then make a point over here that, that's how far his leg is down here in the sitting position the curve and then go over here that's the other leg that's the thigh and then just close them in then draw the shoes from here because we're not going to go more detail the body is going to be smaller just draw the shoes from there and this shoe is a little backwards so i'm going to draw it a little smaller there we go so that's the basic shape um, and also the suit this down here will be in blue color so let's start drawing the web from the center so from the center slightly curved in web like structure
So if you choose to color first and then draw the web later, um, that should work as well. Okay, I'm going to start drawing some shadows and highlighting. I always do this, do this by assuming a light source. So I'm assuming the light source being this way. So all of this area here under is under shadow. So depending on the medium that you're using, this you can glaze it. That means you you can do the color very lightly on top of the color that you already had. So any darker value you should do, you can use a dark red or a reddish brown color. And then wherever you think the shadows are, add the shadow colors in there. To block the light. And now the highlights. So for highlights, I often pick the, the, the lighter tone of the color that I'm working with. So this is a light um, pink in color. It suits um, well on top of red. So it gives a sense of 3D when you do that. 
So you can squint your eye and see if you are looking at a 3D angle. So you can choose to go dark and light and uh, develop the angle based on how you feel is looking good. So again, you're going to glaze the color on top of whatever you're drawing. So it's a thin layer of color. So I'm using blue on the shoes as well, uh, showing that the reflection is blue. Yeah, and that's good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the video.